Mr. Techbot here. Do you suffer from a lack of horror? Do you hear chainsaw sounds in your sleep? Do you dream of a Nightmare on Elm Street, Jason Voorhees, Michael Myers? Well, I've got just a thing to solve your monthly horror needs. We've got the monthly horror BAM box. Let's t open this up and it's guaranteed to solve your horror needs. Let's check it out. What's going on everybody? I hope everyone out there is having a wonderful day and everyone out there is staying safe. As I said, um, Van Box Horror, monthly box, love this box, learn a lot about horror stuff that I didn't know as I thought I was a big horror fan, but you know what? There's a lot of things that, you know, sometimes when you're putting in a spot and you're opening a mystery box, you know, I've had some people recently com making comment of, well, maybe you should open up the box and do your research first before, eh, forget about that. I like to do straight raw, unboxings um, I want to see these things for the first time at the same time with you that's how I like to do it and that's how I'm gonna to continue to do it because I love the mystery I don't like to open these things up in advance do my research you know I like to be just as surprised as you guys are you know uh, when, when we review the card at the end so you know that, that's half the fun that's half the fun of doing a mystery box is opening it up and seeing the great items you get whether you recognize them or whether you don't but let's just jump into this. So we got Bam Horror, um, as, as they like to say, for fans, by fans. Um, this is a great box. Uh, the nice part, the funny part about this box is this is probably the first one I got from Bam, and it's still sold out. I think they've got a large waiting list for this this box, nonetheless. But uh, I've I've enjoyed every minute of it. I've enjoyed every minute of it. Um, I won't let it go just because of it's always sold out. Because if I let it go and then decide I want it again, I'm not gonna get it back again. So as long as I have my subscription, I'm not letting this thing go. But I like this box. It's got a little bit of a, it's got a little bit of weight to it this month. I mean, definitely not the size like like the Bam Geek we got a couple weeks ago where I had a pop in there. But yeah, there's definitely something rattling around in there. Now, one thing I am gonna do that Bam does every single month, kind of release and give you a teaser. They kind of give you the you know movie brands that are gonna be in this box. So I will give you those right up here right now now these are again these are just going to be uh movie titles that are going to have something to do with the items in this box so we have us we have american psycho treehouse of horror and michael myers why don't we just get into this box and find out what we got let's see as usual i'm going to keep it up like this because i don't want to see what's in the box I want to be just as surprised as you guys are. Of course, we got our normal BAM paper. Let's get rid of that. All right, so this is definitely what's been shaking around here. Well, there's a couple of things in it. Ooh. Ooh. That's what I think it is. That's going to be pretty cool. Uh, that could be the movie prop. As you know, I love the movie props. We're going to start with the um, pin first. So who do we have this month? Okay, well, there's going to be our Treehouse of Horrors. So again, this is volume five, box 10, Melting Face of Homer. And <laughs> don't ask me which actual episode this comes from. There are too many, there are way too many Treehouse of Horror episodes, but I think I do remember this episode uh, back in the day, but it's been so long. I, I started watching a bunch of Treehouse of Horror right before Halloween, trying to get my kids to, to realize what, you know, Simpsons are all about, especially Treehouse of Horror. Of course, I don't want to introduce them to straight up horror movies right away, Although, if I think about it, I was. But I'm not going to do that yet. I'm sure my wife wouldn't want me to. So I figured Treehouse of Horror would be a great um, start for them. And, and my, my oldest kind of liked it. She thought it was kind of cool. But I don't remember that off the bat. But that is definitely, I mean, a melting face of Homer. I mean, that that's an awesome pin as itself. So let's put that aside right there. I've got a bunch of stuff on top here before we get to these cards. So I'm just going to see what this is. Can we tell what this is from here? No, we cannot. So we're gonna have to open this up. So it says Bam Horror in the front. So we're kind of a interesting gold box. So before I open this box up, so that's pretty cool. It's like kind of a gold box. It says Bam Horror on the top. So let's see what we have in, inside. What is it? 
Gold scissors. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure this is from us, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure this is from us. Um, so this would probably be our movie prop for this month. Um, does it say anything on the inside? Welcome to the family. <laughs> it's always cool. They always kind of put little things in here for it. it. Says you are the new one of us. Yeah. So okay. So that makes sense. So if you actually see, it's hard. I know it's kind of hard to see, but on the inside of these things, it says "Welcome to the family," and then on this side, it says "You are now one of us." So this is from the Us movie. Fantastic movie, man. That movie was creepy. But man, that's a that, that's a good good movie prop. I really really like that. I'm gonna have to figure out where to display that. So let me bring these. I got some cards out. What do we got here? We've got our BAM giveaway. Let's check. So I haven't won any of these yet, but you know, you never know. One of these days I'm bound to win something. Oh my God. I told you, I get two of these a month. I am bound to win something. And I had won an art print upgrade. Art print upgrade box. Check that out. Three of them. I won three of them. All right, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to send this in and redeem this, but yeah, I got a free art print upgrade box. Don't know what that is. I'm sure as soon as that comes in, I will give you guys a, uh, I'll give you guys another video letting you know what that is. But uh, I'm gonna have to keep that aside right here and send that on into BAM. I actually won one. I told you, I figured I had, I get two of these a month. Statistically, I'm bound to win something one of these days. Um, and I would figure that the, the BAM items are probably gonna be the better chance to win something than say like a PlayStation or something like that. The chances of winning those are probably a lot smaller. But hey, that's cool. I'll, I'll, I'll take anything. That's, that's always fun. So let's see, we got the card here. I don't feel, man, am I, man, I'm just not getting, well, I'm taking them getting an upgrade there, but I still, no level up. I do not feel a level up card in there, but let's see what our artist select card is for this month. That's different. I don't remember what last month's is though, for some reason. And I'm sure this has something to do with that. Um, or it's a new series. I'm not quite sure, but I'm sure it has something to do with it. Cause it looks like you got a table stopped here and it looks like there should be something over here. But a guy with a really strange looking doctor with the dude's head on a platter and something in his neck. I don't know. That's definitely creepy. I have no idea. This is who, who did this? This is George Vega. Uh, George Vega has been doing a lot of the artist select cards lately on both BAM, Horror and Bam Geek. So uh, he actually has some great, great artwork that, that he does. So cool. We'll have to find out more about that on the card at the end. So let's get to this because I know I can feel I know what this is, but I don't know where this lies in our area. It's hard to tell from the bag. We're going to have to open up. Oh, it's going straight through. I don't think that's sharp. <laughs> I'm going to guess this is from American Psycho would be my assumption, um, which I have, I do have a American Psycho Funko Pop that I pulled from a mystery box up here on my shelf. Uh, absolutely, it, that is a great, great movie. Do enjoy it, um, or did enjoy it. Uh, in fact, you know, I think I think that's where Christian Bale really got his start or really got notarized was from American Psycho. I mean, he played that part to the T, but that is cool. Oh, there we go. So you, to see, you guys can see the signature right on the inside of this. Um, oh, that's actually got some sharpness to it. Stainless steel. So they're actually shipping out real, yeah, real knives. Butcher knife, seven inch. And this thing ended up poking out through the other end. But uh, wow, okay. That's different. Of course, that's not Christian Bale's. It does have the Beckett sticker on the other side. But uh, it's Michael something. I can't recognize the last name, but it's uh, definitely Michael something. But that is interesting. I would have never pictured a real, an actual real <laughs> knife. Um, that that does have, like I said, that has, yeah, that's got a little bit of sharpness to it. Not not uberly sharp. It's not like you know, I don't know, I'm, you're gonna go out and try to cut something with it right away. But that is different. This, so this does come with the Beckett seal of approval, which you're gonna have to try to find some way to kind of 
store this with it. But that's it. That's it's got to be American Psycho right there, because of course you know it, it's or oh, this could be Michael Myers though. So we all know Michael Myers was always about the butcher knife, huh? Leave down in the comment and let me know. You think this is American Psycho or Michael Myers? This definitely could be Michael Myers. Because um, he was always known for his um, uh, butcher knives. I'm actually leaning towards that myself. Uh, not not American Psycho anymore, but I'm leaning towards Michael Myers. Uh, you know, one of my favorite horror movies of all time. But this will probably answer it once we pull up this picture. Before we get to the card. So let's see. Who do we have on this month's image? Do I have it the right way? Yes, I do. Okay, well that answers that. So the knife is definitely from Michael Myers because that is a killer, killer picture from American Psycho. Um, you like Ho Huey Lewis in the news, it says down bottom. Uh, that's an awesome, awesome. And it's, it's hard to tell with all the, the scribbly, but there's signatures right down here in the corner. But that is a fantastic art print. Um, I, I like this, I like especially as, you know, the, the triangles are all turning into knives. So that's awesome. I absolutely love that. And I've got a, I got a high number. I got 1929 out of 2200. So that's fantastic. I love that. That is a great looking art print. So looks like last thing I got in the box is my cheat sheet. So let's get rid of that. Let's go over these things real quick. So um, as I usually do, I'll put a image right up here they'll show you uh, what I'm reading at the same time um, so that way you guys can follow along with what I'm going off of so let's just start up at the top here we've got our fan art print it says we have never forgotten the first time we saw the dark side of Patrick Bateman in American Psycho 2000 this month's artist Brian Meth forever enshrines the real Bateman doing what he does best kill ruthlessly with glee working on wall street lost all of its appeal after seeing christian bale in this iconic performance i would definitely agree uh, but yeah you, you see you know patrick bateman in 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 all his prime right there as, as a character um, that just epitomizes the entire character of, of Wall Street and you know it definitely made you start to think about all these guys on Wall Street that are high stress and everything like that you know and you start to think do they turn into this after hours I hope not um, so we're gonna go with the knife next so celebrity autograph it says a total of nine actors have donned the Michael Myers mask and every true horror collector will want to nab them all Knowing this, we're excited to bring you a knife signed by A. Michael Lerner. Lerner terrorized the screen as Myers in Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers in 1995. Lerner has a long career as an actor and a stuntman, having also worked in 90s hits such as Total Recall, Shawshank Redemption, and Twin Peaks. That's awesome. So he, this is actually one of the Michael Myers from uh, Michael Myers 6, or from Halloween 6. Um, so he was he actually donned the Michael Myers mask. That's fantastic. So that is an actual um, Actor of one of the the Michael Myers characters Because uh, as, as he said, I didn't even know nine actors had donned the mask So because uh, you never really know it's always got a mask on but uh, that's fantastic I absolutely love that gonna have to keep that in a special place can't put that up here with the rest of it I got little kids around that's a real knife. I'm gonna have to really figure out something special to put that in because that's actually really really awesome i'd love to display it, but i think i'm gonna have to find a box for it um box that you can't get into and, and lock up because that that is absolutely fantastic i really 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 like that um let's go with the card artist select card it says for the second part of the reanimator duel artist george vega brings us Dr. Hill's decapitated head. Pair it with last month's Herbert West card to see how they line up. Also keep an eye out for the holofoil version with only a hundred made. I will also right now put an image of both of these cards together. So that way you can start to get the full picture of what this artist select card was. Um, I really like these artist select cards because you know, it makes you, it kind of ties boxes to boxes. So it's always kind of fun. So the scissors, we got the prop replica. Jordan Pele is proving to be the modern day Alfred Hitchcock um, as his first two films have delivered on thrills. Our fingernails didn't survive watching his second film, Us, 
and these scissors are one of the major reasons why. Um, again, fantastic movie. Another movie prop, as I love movie props, that uh, along with the knife, definitely items in this this box. I'm gonna have to find some good display places for these because again, I've got little kids, and even though the the blade on the scissors is not sharp by any means. It's still got a point. It's still going to hurt somebody. And of course, last but not least, we've got our fan art pin. So says, even casual fans of The Simpsons look forward to the yearly Treehouse of Horror episodes. 2020 marks the 30th straight year of the Treehouse. So we're celebrating by doing our biggest crossover set event. Artist Tom Ryan absolutely knocked these out of the park. Most of our horror boxes will have Homer's melting face in them, while others will receive the devilish Ned Flanders or an angry Maggie. Uh, those who get our geek and gamer boxes will also find Simpsons pins in there. So I'm going to assume that my BAM geek box is also going to have a, a Treehouse of Horror pin in it as well. Fortunately, I didn't get any level, level ups, but that's okay. Um, I, I'll, I'll eventually break that streak one of these days. But I mean, on top of it, I'm going to be getting a free upgrade, uh, artist print upgrade. So don't know which one it is. Don't know what I'm going to get, but stay tuned. That's all I got for you guys today. If you are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Hopefully you enjoyed this. And if you did, I'd always appreciate it if you smash that like button, leave me a comment as well as go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And after you hit that subscribe button, please go ahead and hit that post notification bell. So that way you get notified of all the most recent videos that I do put out as well as any live streams that I do uh, make. Because I usually do two videos a week and I do two live streams a week as well. So the best way to get notified for any of that stuff is to hit that post notification bell. Now, in, if you are returning to watch another the Mr. Tuck Bob video. I do appreciate every moment you give me as you guys join me on my great YouTube journey. As I always like to say, do what you like, do what you love, and always guys, unleash your inner nerd. Have a great one. Later! Later.